Welcome to No Paint No Gains, I'm Ray, and in this episode, I'll share one of my favorite methods to speed paint fiery sword effects. The idea behind this method is very simple. We're going to dry brush a gradient ranging from dark red to bright yellow. As we add on brighter layers, we will cover a smaller surface of the blade, producing the effect that the metal is heating up from hilt to tip. First things first, I start by priming the blade of the sword with some black paint. I'm going to be using Vallejo black primer for this, but any black paint will work. With the black undercoat dry, we're ready to start painting. Since we're going to be dry brushing, I recommend adding your paints to a dry palette in order to avoid introducing unnecessary moisture to the bristles. Once you load your brush with paint, you want to remove most of the pigments from the bristles. You can do this by simply swiping the brush across a piece of paper towel until only a small amount of paint remains on the brush. When applying the first layer, you'll want to start at the tip of the blade and work downwards almost to the hilt. You want to leave a small amount of the black undercoat present at the base of the blade as it'll represent the coolest portions of the metal. Here's what it'll look like after a few passes. From here we'll repeat that same process again, just with the next brightest color making sure to cover a smaller and smaller area with each brighter layer. With all the dry brushing complete, all that's left is to edge highlight the upper portion of the blade with your brightest yellow, and then follow that up with a second edge highlight of white in the uppermost regions where the metal would be the hottest. I really enjoy using this technique when speed painting models just because of how fast and easy it is to do, especially if you're trying to get that new army or warband painted for gameplay. Granted, using this method won't win you any painting awards, as upon close inspection you'll see that chalky texture left behind by the dry brushing. But if you're painting at a tabletop standard, it looks pretty damn good. That's it for this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, stay messy.